Slavery is a very big subject. I, I have in my home an entire bookcase of nothing things, books about slavery in various parts of the world, and various times of history. And the sad fact is that slavery has been a universal institution for thousands of years, as far back as you can trace human history. And what we're looking at is if slavery is something that happened to one race of people in one country, when in fact the, 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 the spread of it was around the world. In, in 1776, which is when Adam Smith published The Wealth of Nation, as mm -hmm. well as when the United States got started, he said that Western Europe is the only place in the world where there is no slavery. Uh, and even in the Western, even the Western Europeans had vast numbers of slaves in the Western in, Hemisphere, yes. but not in that Western Europe itself. And so if you're going to have reparations for slavery, it's going to be the greatest transfer of wealth back and forth uh, and, 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 and cross-hauling, as they say in, in the railroads. Because the, the number of, of whites, for example, who were enslaved in uh, North Africa by the Barbary pirates exceeded the number of Africans enslaved in the United States and in the American colonies before that put together. I know, but nobody is going to North Africa to ask for reparations because nobody is going to be fool enough to give it to them. Uh, here we have, we have intellectuals who can, who can imagine a different history from the rest of the world, even though it's so similar to the rest of the world. Tom, would you close our program by reading a passage from your marvelous new book, Discrimination and Disparities? It's about people who want to redress the past. The only times over which we have any degree of influence at all are the present and the future, both of which can be made worse by attempts at symbolic restitution among the living for what happened among the dead who are far beyond our power to help or punish or avenge. Any serious consideration of the world as it is today, around us today must tell us that maintaining common decency, much less peace and harmony, among living contemporaries is a major challenge, both among nations and within nations. To admit that we can do nothing about what happened among the dead is not to give up the struggle for a better world but to concentrate our efforts where they have at least some hope of making things better for the living. Dr. Thomas Sowell, author of Discrimination and Disparities, thank you. Thank you.